The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. Not that long ago, in Beis Medrash Kavaya, in Lakewood, there was a young man who was a tremendous masmid. He learned diligently from morning to night. He had a mishpacha, a wife, and children. And he literally was totally into his learning, his davening. He was Ebed Hashem in the highest caliber. One day he comes home for supper, and his wife gives him, I don't know, something very meager, a peanut butter sandwich. And she says, I'm so sorry that this is all that I have to give you, but unfortunately, the financial situation is so challenging, we Pasha don't have money to buy food. And he's very taken aback. You know, she's kind of shouldered the financial responsibility and sheltered him from what was going on. But obviously, he got to a really bad situation, and she says to him, she goes, I, I don't know how we can continue over here. I don't have money to buy food for the kids, clothing, to pay for the heating. It's 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 struggling. I'm not sure what we should do. And the husband, you know, he, he all of a sudden, he's like, oh, he's at a loss. Well, what does one do? And all of a sudden, he says to her, he says, you know, a yid's first line of defense is bitachan. Let's be mechazik. Let's strengthen our bitachan and our trust in Hashem. And Hashem will help us. She says, you know, you're right. Bitachan is important. But like, what, someone, some random person is going to give us a check? I don't see any sikui. There's no, there's no real way that we're going to get out of this terrible situation. Like, I don't know what to do. He says, I'm telling you. Let's be mechazik ourselves and our bitachan. You and me together. And you'll see, Akash Baruch will help us out. We're on his team. We're doing his work. He says, you know, you're right. I talk, uh, it was difficult for me, but I'm going to be mechazik myself. And the two of them together worked on their betachan. Within two weeks, the fellow's davening Mayrev. And after Mayrev, someone comes over to him and says, can I talk to you for a second? He says, sure. He's thinking maybe the guy wants a donation. He doesn't have any money himself. The fellow says to him, you know, I'm here. I represent a tremendous gavir, a very wealthy person. Recently, he decided he wants to try to help a few very serious, genuine young light in a real way. Ask you a question: How are you doing financially? And the man, he opens up and he says, "We mamish don't have money for basic necessities." The fellow says to him, "You're the person that he's looking to help. Don't worry about it. Going forward, you and your wife will be receiving a monthly check that will take care of all your financial worries." Here's the first check. Go home and tell your wife. You guys have to continue doing what you're doing, and we'll have the schus of supporting you. Kaharif Ayn, he went from a desperate situation, to being able to continue and learn Barchavas Hadas. That's the story, incredible story. The fellow that stared the story with me said that there are two things that we need to take to heart from this story. Number one, that Bitachan works. There's no such thing as saying, How am I going to have Yeshua? Someone's going to randomly going to write me a check? HaKadosh Baruch Hu has, he gives, and for those that are Boteach Bashem, they get. And the second thing he said, and maybe more important, is that there are still people living these days, nowadays, who are struggling, and being Moiser Nefesh, to be able to do Avedis Hashem, to continue to learn. That's also something we have to take to heart. How willing to be Moiser Nefesh are we? What are we willing to do for our Torah? Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend, stories to inspire.org.